Fidget spinners are taking the country by storm, but are they helpful or is it just a lot of hype? Jet 24's Kristen Nielsen joins us now live in our control room to explain. Good, Good morning, Kristen. Good morning, Tracy. Fidget spinners are everywhere, but are they actually useful? Some people advocate for the spinners as an effective tool for kids with conditions like ADHD, but some doctors say that there's no evidence to support the use for ADHD. There are studies that show getting up and moving in the classroom is best for a child's ability to learn. Dr. Joe Osterman with the Cleveland Clinic says applying that concept to micro-movements of the hand is a bit of a stretch. Being able to walk around, take breaks, is good for our long-term memory retention. And there is good evidence showing that doing such things are good for kids that have ADHD as well as kids that don't have ADHD. And so advocating for more physical activity in the classroom setting is key, not necessarily using fidget spinners. Fidget spinners in the classroom may actually be more of a distraction, according to Dr. Osterman, especially for kids with ADHD who struggle to stay focused in environments with multiple distractions. Tracy? And Kristen, I know you have kids too, and we are no strangers to these things, right? No, of course not. <laughs> it's funny, though. It just seems like kind of like the new age yo-yo, or, you know, whoever came up with this idea, I kind of envy the money that they're bringing in with Oh, them. yeah, another fad, and I'm sure it'll fade soon. <laughs> well, thank you, Kristen. Thank you. This brings us to our poll question for today. We want to hear from you. Are fidget spinners a help? or are they just a hype? That question will be posted all day at youreerie.com. So go there and tell us what you think. Then tune in tomorrow. We'll see how your thoughts compare to everybody else's.